Good afternoon. My name is Dr. Mohan Keshav Murthy. I'm Senior Director of Urology, Robotic Surgery and Tr Kidney Transplant at Fortis Hospital's Banagata Road. Today there's an interesting uh, topic to discuss, uh, pediatric uh, robotic surgery in the area of urology and kidney transplant. Uh, we at uh, Fortis Banagata Road are a niche location for robotic pediatric urology. Uh, it requires uh, exceptional uh, planning and technical ability to perform robotic surgery in, in small body weight individuals. Uh, on one of these, uh, one of the days in the last week, we have done uh, three robotic procedures on pediatric patients, one aged one year, one aged six years, and one aged 11 years. In case of the six-year-old child, it was a redo uh, surgery. Uh, in the case of the one-year-old and the 11-year-old, it was uh, primary procedures. The complexity of uh, working in a small space using uh, a Da Vinci XI robotic platform is that the trocar or the steel tubes that allow us to enter the abdomen are the same as the adult size, as well as the fact that the insufflation or the carbon dioxide that we fill the abdomen, the pressure has to be maintained at the lower end of uh, what we would use in an adult. Besides this, the complexity of anesthesia and the fact that you have to use instruments which are meant for the adult frame in a pediatric uh, situation makes it that much more complex. But the advantages of uh, a Da Vinci XI in terms of magnification, uh, manual dexterity, as well as the compartmental precision, uh, precision in a compartmentalized location, makes the outcomes that much uh, phenomenally better. Uh, we at Fortis Banergata Road pride ourselves to be at the forefront of, uh, uh, of humans and robotic surgery, as we call ourselves. Uh, the ability to break barriers and provide better outcomes for children who choose to be uh, treated by us and our, and, and our magnificent team at Fortis Banergata Road. My colleague Dr. Shriha Shaharinata will discuss uh, a specific case of a one-year-old and what modifications we had to do technically to ensure that the outcome was not just good but much better than the traditional techniques. Thank you. Hi, I am Dr. Srihar Shaharinata. I am a consultant and additional director of urology and robotic surgery at Fortis Hospitals. So I am here to tell you about a recent uh, case we operated uh, robotically. It was a one year old child and uh, this is probably one of the youngest uh, uh, child operated in the state of Karnataka uh, with the use of robotic technology. So this particular case was a case of a PUJ obstruction where uh, this is a congenital problem where the junction of pelvis and ureter uh, there is obstruction which reduces the flow of urine coming down from kidney. So in adults uh, this the same procedure when we do robotically it's much easier to do uh, because there is space inside the abdomen uh, when we talk of uh, one year old child because of the restriction in space we do some modifications uh, particularly when we place the port we have to be careful with the spacing of the port so that uh, we don't have instrument clashes inside the abdomen and uh, we have to avoid any unnecessary movement and be careful with all the movements and because uh, the robot allows such precision and with accurate visualization these fine movements are possible even in a one year old child so we were able to operate this child we did a robotic pyeloplasty and uh, the procedure went, went smooth. The uh, child recovered very well and we were able to discharge uh, the child in uh, two days. So that is the advantage of robotic surgery. We are able to treat even very small children and give them the same benefit of minimally invasive surgery. I'm Dr. Yogesh Kumar Gupta. I'm a pediatric uh, intensivist at Fortis Hospital, Banagata Road. So we get to see we get to see this child post-operatively following a robotic pyeloplasty. In our experience, he was the youngest child uh, who underwent a robotic pyeloplasty. During the post-operative period, we had a, we did not have any complications as such, and we could manage him with minimal analgesic use. He was extubated on table and was shifted to the ICU following extubation, and we were able to shift this child out to the room on room air the very next morning and he was discharged after 24 hours of uh, the surgery. So with this experience, uh, at least it gives us a confidence to say that the ch uh, such a small child who is weighing less around 10 kgs and less than one year of age can be who and who undergoes a uh, robotic pyeloplasty can be managed with ease in post-operative period with minimum complications. Hello, I am Dr. Murli Chakravarti. I am the director of anesthesia 
critical care and pain relief at Fortis Hospital Banagata Road. I want to talk about uh, administering anesthesia for young children as young as one year old. Normally, just an administration of anesthesia in these children is risky. It is said that never call a child as a small adult. What you do for an adult, don't proportionally reduce for children. Children are not miniature adults and that too, undergoing robotic surgery is a huge challenge. The changes that we have to make in the anesthetic management are many and it has to be in sync with the surgical requirement. So we surmounted this challenge and got a successful surgery.